cat. What happened to the evidence locker? Have you heard of a book called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up? <laughs> oh, no, not the decluttering thing where you have to pick up everything you own and decide if you want to keep it or not. Well, it changed my life. I did it at home. And now I just can't stop. <laughs> Captain, with all due respect, there's a big difference between an evidence locker and your home. I think the principles apply anywhere. Uh, this room was really stressing me out. Uh, sir, I have uh, District Attorney Romaine upstairs, and she is waiting for the hair samples for the Schatz case. Hold on. I need to say goodbye to this knife before I can throw it out. <laughs> Bloody knife, you do not spark joy in me. <laughs> in fact, you remind me of a truly awful crime. I thank you for your service and say goodbye. <laughs> Sir, nothing is organized by case number. Everything is in piles by category. It makes it more manageable. Uh, Captain, if I don't have the hair samples for the Schatz case, the whole thing's going to fall apart. Check the kimono pile. Kimono was a term for anything without a use. <laughs> it's not there. I threw it away already. Blood. Blood. <laughs> Maybe blood. <sighs> this will drive me nuts if I don't fold them vertically first. <laughs> Okay, well, they're not here, so I guess we just lost the Schatz case. Then make yourself useful, detective, and arrange those cocaine bricks nicely on that shelf. Hold it, hold it. Is, is, this, is this the cocaine from the Pimlico bus? This is all that's left? Where's the rest of it? It was excessive. <laughs> The rule with this stuff is you arrange it into, you know, uh, you pick a few nice ones and then you let the rest go. Hey. I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm here to pick up the stuff that you posted on online. <laughs> Dale from Craigslist. <laughs> yeah, Donation just, bags over there. Yeah. This isn't a, uh, a trap rate. This isn't a trap rate thing. This isn't a <laughs> trap rate. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing us a huge favor. Sir, this is outlandish. Please tell me that the rest of the cocaine is not in that bag. Hey! I'm not an idiot. I worked the 7 4 in the 80s. I busted dealers living in crack houses so cluttered it would make your head spin. <laughs> the coke is in the trash pile waiting to go out. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm heading out right now. I'm grabbing it for you. I'm just heading out to the train. That won't be necessary! Damn, from Craigslist! No, 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 I didn't think it would be, so I'll just, I'll just, go, I'll just go instead then. I'll just, I'll just go instead then. I'll just... <laughs> oh, here's the gun in my bag. Hey! Hey! I better not wind up back here. <laughs> Detective, you've been waiting a very long time out there, and holy crap, what is going on in here? The rule with paper is, you don't even look at it. Just throw it away. <laughs> Those were the warrants for the Shats case. It took me three months to get Judge Reynolds to sign off on them. I've got something better for you. <laughs> the life-changing magic of tidying up. I've been meaning to read this. Thank you. <laughs> Sir, I have been in this room for five whole minutes, and you didn't offer that book to me once. <laughs> you didn't seem that into it. 